Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to create a CI CD pipeline for .NET. CI stands for continuous integration and CD for continuous delivery and as well as continuous deployment. In the part one, we will be setting up a sample ASP.NET project using a DevOps starter project on Azure. So my name is Kaushik Roy Chaudhary and welcome to this channel. And if you are new to this channel, please go through this tutorial uh, which will be part of a playlist of Azure tutorial and DevOps in particular and um, if you like this tutorial please subscribe to the channel and spread it within your friends like-minded people and your feedback are welcome. So what is CI and CD? As I said CI stands for continuous integration that implies an automated process or system using suitable tool chain that allows the developers to merge small code changes to a repository after build and tests automated scripts for building and testing which then goes to the next stages of CD. So consider an application that's, that has its code stored in a GitHub repository or it could be anything like GitLab or Subversion or in foundation server or anything. So developers push code changes every day. So many of you come from this development background. So it's nothing unusual for you. And you do it multiple times a day. For every push to the repository, you can create a set of scripts to build and test your application automatically. These scripts help decrease the chances that you introduce errors in your application. And this practice is known as continuous integration. So for each change submitted to an application, even to development branches, is built and tested automatically and continuously. These tests ensure the changes pass all tests, guidelines and code compliance standards you established for your application. The next stage is CD, which stands for both continuous delivery and continuous deployment. With the continuous delivery coming first, that allows for the application code to be automatically bug tested before it is updated to a repository for manual deployments with a click of a button. So it is a step beyond continuous integration, continuous delivery. And here, not only is your application built and tested each time a code change is pushed to a code base, which is the case in the continuous integration, which we have just seen, the, the application is also deployed continuously. However, with continuous delivery, you trigger the deployments manually. That's what I said here, repository for manual deployments. Now, continuous delivery checks the code automatically, but it requires human intervention to manually and strategically trigger the deployment of the changes as he requires. So, what is continuous deployment then? Is the last stage where the staging it is one step beyond the continuous delivery that is continuous deployment where the staging code is released to the production but unlike continuous delivery here the process of deployment is automatic. So the difference is that instead of deploying your application manually you set it to be deployed automatically human intervention is not required. Now here is a diagrammatic representation of the entire scheme CI and CD both the CDs included now they are integrated with each other in such a manner that they are all interdependent stage. No stage is foolproof in itself. No, I mean, none of these three stages are completely standalone, but they are overlapping on each other, one another. So CI, in the CI stage, it is actually it's all about planning and coding and build, test and then release step is a bit overlapping between CI and CD and then release and deploy, operate and measure. And then again plan, code, build, test, release, deploy, operate, measure it, the cycle goes on. Now let's go over to the actual DevOps labs that we are going to create. And remember this is one of the, the labs are a part of a series of Azure DevOps lab created by Microsoft and this will be based on the 
your Azure subscription. And Microsoft advises that if you don't have any subscri subscription, you can um, go for a free $200 monthly Azure plan, which actually gives you $200 US dollar, but it has to be consumed within the first month, within 30 days. So if you are unable to do so, so the rest of the credit is expired. I mean, automatically your subscription will be cancelled. So I went initially for the free trial, but once it ended, I needed to upgrade my um, subscription to pay as you go account. So enough talk about everything. Now let's switch over to the Azure portal and start creating the labs, which for which you must have been waiting eagerly because that is the actual hands-on where you can get your hands dirty. Yes, one more thing that apart from the Azure account, whether it is free trial or pay as you go or whatever account that keeps you going with the Azure, um, you also need an Azure DevOps account. And if you don't have one, you can sign up here for free. This is azure.microsoft.com slash nus slash products slash devops. I'll put this link in the description below. Okay, and you can sign in or you can start free also Azure DevOps. Um, so considerable things are actually free. All right, so let's close this and open. Now, this is my Azure portal, and this is my default directory and email address and here are all the things that I can create, create resource, all resources, cost management, resource groups, DevOps starter. So what I will do in the first exercise, which is this um, first part, is setting up the sample ac.net project for which I will click on DevOps starter. Now, please don't worry if you don't see DevOps starter icon not here. Um, what you can do is you can always search over here so devops starter it's already coming but i practiced devops starter again earlier so i have it on my icons stored icons okay so nothing to worry about that if you don't find it you can easily search and then click on devops starter to come to this screen this page now this window opens up and here I can click create DevOps starter. Okay, so launch an app running in Azure in a few quick steps. All right. Now here it gives you a reminder, it gives you uh, information DevOps starter is being deprecated and will get retired on the 31st March and you can learn more. However, I'm still persisting with um, this DevOps starter because this is a great way of starting with um, this Microsoft Azure DevOps. And even though it is, uh, it will not be anymore, but this is, this will be substituted with um, developer command line interface, which is more developer oriented, like writing commands. But because this is a starter project, this is here at the starter level. I believe I'm addressing a starter level. So this will help you in understanding it faster without writing a lot of command line interfaces. Okay, so first step is .NET, it is already uh, selected, checked, you can uncheck this, but this is, I don't have, uh, um, node.js is not required, present context is .NET only. So setting up DevOps starter with Gitter, change settings here. So I'll change it to Azure DevOps, which says, Build, test, and deploy your code in Azure repos and CI CD using Azure pipeline rather than GitHub. This option is also there, so I will change it to Azure DevOps. So for GitHub, it is build, test, and deploy your code in GitHub repo and CI CD using GitHub Actions. But I have checked Azure DevOps, that is my present context for this tutorial, and you can take this up in some upcoming lecture but for now it is azure devops and click on done and next is this all a wizard based so you can see asp.net asp.net core 
let me click on ASP.NET. Okay. And then add a database. Yes, I need a SQL database. A relational database as a service using a Microsoft SQL Server engine. And then click on next service. And then by default, it is clicked on here. And this is Windows Web App. I don't need to create a virtual machine. So I will go with this Windows Web App and, and click on create. And here I will have to give it a name project name. So I've already um, created it as a trial run for this tutorial. .NET DevOps KRC. The, the point is here that the crux of the thing is to reduce the budget, the billing, so that you are not um, given any surprise bills. So I keep on uh, doing my experiments on running labs and projects and then keep on deleting them. So this is still available, even though I had created it at one time. And this is the default organization and Azure subscription is one. I have only got this Azure subscription one and web app name by default it takes .NET DevOps KRC. South Central US, I will change that to something nearest to me. That is, I am situated in New Zealand. So I believe Australia, East or Australia, Southeast, any of these two will be much um, nearer to me. Okay. And then if I click on additional setting, see here it is a pricing tier it is given S1 standard, one core, 1.75 GB RAM. So you have to go for that. Click on additional settings. So if you want to set the database server login details, enter username, change any of these, then you can. Uh, go for the additional settings, you can change them and click on OK and location, let me change this to Australia Southeast as well and click on OK and then click on Review plus Create and it is going to review. It comes up within a, a couple of minutes, it takes a bit of a time provisioning prerequisites to create DevOps Startup. Okay. It is writing, creating resource group and assigning roles to AID application, Azure Active Directory application on resource group scopes. Close this and I will come back after this um, is created. Okay. DevOps startup project is created. So, so you can see quickly the various stages of deployment. So deployment is in progress. It is still under progress. Okay. Now the deployment is complete, so I'll click on go to resource. It says Azure within Azure resources, Azure resources are not yet created. They will be created by the CI CD pipeline. You can track pipeline status in CI CD pipeline section. So here you can see that automated tests are running. Starting publish. Starting publish functional tests. Copy ARM templates. Copy database files. Everything is all automated. And that's the beauty of using this DevOps starter project. Everything is all automated in the uh, code itself. Okay, so finishing build and last stage is finalized job. So here you can see that build fast, you know, one artifact produced, 100% is solved fast. Everything is hunky dory. So I'm not sure about this finalized job, but finishing finalized job. Okay, let's close this. Let me refresh this. So build, testing and building is all complete. Now release in progress. So when the release is over, it is released to the production. Basically, it is released to the Azure server cloud. And then instead of uh, uh, this will be replaced with a suitable um, message which we'll soon see 
So when I clicked on release, it showed me this. So you can see that deployment is in progress. You can see all the logs also. You click on logs. You see everything. So deploy Azure App Service pending, execute Azure SQL pending. There are several tasks still pending. All right. And when it says that they will be created, Azure resources are not yet created. They will be created by CI CD pipeline. And this is the CI CD pipeline. You can see it is still releasing progress. You can see still four out of seven tasks pending. Okay. So it's all very pictures, very, very graphical. Everything is clearly understood. Okay. This is the artifact that triggered this release. So what is that? Triggered by .NET DevOps PRC CI. This is the um, continuous integration. Oh, voila. So now finally, the release one succeeded. One out of one test passed. Everything is now finally over and you know run on agent everything is now done finalized job is also succeeded everything succeeded test assemblies with three warnings but other than that there's no problem now this is the application endpoint so if you click on here this is your application success so azure devops project has been successfully set up your asp.net core app is up and running on azure and powered by azure sql database Okay, so what we saw in this project is so in this entire lab, what we have learned that we have actually created a team project with sample.NET code repository, which we will inspect in the subsequent second and third part. Rather, third part when we'll make a change in the update the code and create another trigger another CI and CD. Okay, now we created a build and release pipelines to compile, test, and deploy the application and created Azure web app and Azure SQL database in Azure using Azure pipelines. Okay, and I have shown you our success. This is .NET DevOps KRC.AzureWebsite.NET. This is on Azure. 